Jaime Jaquez Jr. is going to be the next Jimmy Butler. Now I know that it's a bit too much for me to say that, just 27 games into his young career, but here are a couple of clips to prove just that. It's been a thorn in the side for the Heat in the past, with points and rebounds being able to be productive. Jaquez Jr. operating against Dalen Terry for the paint. Got foul. Point. Defense has been the issue for the Hornets' first nine games of the season. Off and head. Hawk has a fadeaway. The Heat's 18th overall pick is turning a lot of heads this season. Not just because he plays like Jimmy, or he highly resembles a Mexican version of John Wick, but it's the fact that he's hooping like he's been playing for years in the league already, with his high-level IQ plays and methodical approach to the game. In this video, I'll be breaking down Triple J's game to know why he's not your ordinary rookie. But before we jump into that, here's an interesting tidbit that you might want to know first. I mean, outside of the two-man race between Wemby and Chet for the Rookie of the Year honors, Yaquez Jr. is slowly creeping up behind them as of late. And in my opinion, he's probably the sleeper pick that no one talks about in this year's draft. See, based on HoopsHype.com's player ranking of all rookies using their global rating, which is an in-house metric that they use to measure players' productivity on the court by combining individual and team stats, the 18th overall pick Yaquez ranks third among all rookies this season with an 11.59 global rating. And so far, across 27 games, he's been averaging 13 points a ball game, 3.6 rebounds, and 2.7 assists while shooting efficiently from the field with 51.3%, 38.8% from beyond the arc, and clocking in 86.3% from the foul line. He's just been recently named the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month, with the numbers he's been putting up, and this is a strong indicator that he still has a higher ceiling to reach. Now one of the main things that really stands out about Yaquez is how he operates at the low block. Even though he's just 22 years old, Yaquez shows a high level of maturity for his age, which can be reflected in his patience when he's getting buckets. Besides this, he also has strong fundamentals, primarily in terms of footwork, which he uses to create space or get around his defenders. In this low post action, Yaquez just takes his defender to school like an old school vet, as he grinds him down with a flurry of moves before turning the other way around to drop the short floater. And when he's matched up against a much smaller defender, he'll use his size and wide frame to get down deep, and once again, use his footwork to score easily. Now, Yaquez is not all about pounding the little guys in the post, because from time to time, he can give you smooth fadeaways too, such as this one. And because he's so crafty around the shaded lane, Yaquez can basically score against anyone, even if a rim protector like Jared Allen is standing in front of him. He's so efficient down low that he's outscored traditional bigs, such as Julius Randle, Yusuf Nurkic, DeAndre Ayton, and his own teammate Bam Adebayo this season. Anyway, aside from being a legit scoring threat at the low post, Yaquez also presents a major problem on the defense with his ability to hit cutters or find open shooters while he's operating in his sweet spot. After Robinson dumps the ball to Yaquez at the post, Bam sets up a backdoor screen to free him up, and as soon as he sees him cutting in the middle, Yaquez just throws it to him in traffic, which results in a wide open lane for Robinson to easily lay it in. Now instead of cutting inside, Thomas sets a flare screen for Robinson at the high elbow, but regardless of the action, Yaquez has the vision to locate the open man. Yaquez's dual ability to score and facilitate at the low block is just one facet of his evolving game, and the other area where he thrives this season is whenever he receives the ball coming off dribble handoffs. Because he's got such a high basketball IQ, Yaquez can manipulate his defenders in these particular situations as he can be methodical and unpredictable at the same time. See, here's the dribble handoff turning into a two-man game with love. DeRozan thought that he's going to explode to the left after turning the corner, but then Yaquez suddenly switched gears and dropped DeRozan in the process before slashing in the gut of the defense for the easy walk-in layup. Now in this sequence, the Raptors were basically hard hedging every screen action here, but because the defense was so high, Yaquez surprised Barnes by dropping a quick first step and just exploded to the cup with a nasty throwdown. And if you go under or settle for a drop coverage, Yaquez will just casually pull up and make the defense pay for letting their guard down. 
When it comes to scoring coming off dribble handoffs, Yaquez is in the 70.6 percentile and registers a 1.08 point per possession, which is a notch higher than the more experienced ISO scorers in the league, like Paul George, Jalen Green, and Kevin Durant. With his high basketball IQ and a great feel for the game, he's able to bend game situations in his favor, and this is pretty evident when he's running pick and rolls. Here's Yaquez in a two-man game with Kevin Love. Now, as soon as he recognizes that the defense is going to blitz him, he immediately finds Love on point and on target for the easy hook in the paint. His ability to make the right read in every situation is something that you wouldn't see in a first-year player. In this double pick and roll, Yaquez knew that he had no window to shovel the ball to his roll guy, so he skipped it to the other corner after recognizing that Book Knight helps out on the roller. With his defender far away from contesting, Robinson attacked the closeout and simply laid it in. Now the last area where Yaquez is making a living right now is in transition. He's in the 74.7 .7 percentile with 1.24 points per possession in fast break attacks, which is slightly better than James Harden, LeBron James, and Luka Doncic. Anyway, most scouts prior to the recent draft see his lack of athleticism as one of the major loopholes in his game. However, this is far from the truth, because so far this season, Yaquez is showing that he has amazing hops. Heat on the run. Three on three. Hockey! The fella makes a nice crossover, but right here, Barnes thinks he may have a chance. Off a turnover, Yaquez leads the break for the Heat, and after receiving the ball, he just elevates and detonates for the two-hand flush. And in this transition attack, you can't find Yaquez in the frame initially, but out of nowhere, he just bolts in during the secondary break and finishes this one through all the way. On top of all the great things that he brings to the table, Yaquez is also quite good at selling fakes for a rookie, and he knows when to cut in order to position himself for easy scoring opportunities when he doesn't have the ball. Yaquez clearly took a page out of Jimmy Butler's playbook in terms of his play style, especially when he's doing his thing at the post, whether he's about to score or dish it to someone else. Now, it's still too early to say what his ceiling might be just 27 games in, but if you're emulating the game or copying the blueprint of one of the most underrated players in league history, then it goes without saying that you're trekking the right path. As you saw in the previous clips, Yaquez is a fundamentally sound player with incredible court sense and elite decision making, which is precisely why the game comes easy for him. Spo loves these high IQ kind of guys, and picking him up at 18th was no coincidence, but a carefully orchestrated plan all along. On top of this, the reason why Yaquez is a perfect fit with the Heat is that he embodies and personifies the Heat culture with the way he's hustling and giving his all-in effort, night in and night out. Without question, the Heat got a hidden gem in the recent draft with Yaquez Jr. as he's turning out to be a major cog in their lineup due to the things that he brings on both ends. Yaquez still has a long way to go in his basketball career, but the fact that he's playing with a premier organization like the Miami Heat only tells us one thing, and that is the future certainly looks bright and full of hope for this amazing youngster.